everybody, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. And today we are going to build this hydraulic robot arm. I say build because it's a kit, obviously. And uh, this thing I got from the charity shop. I've been eyeing these up for a while, but then I saw one in the charity shop. First time I saw it, I walked past it because yeah, often, more often than not, there's pieces missing in these sort of things in charity shops. But this time, I went a step further and I opened this and I found that everything inside is sealed and present. So, bought this up for seven pounds. So, what is it? Well, it is what it says on the tin. It's a hydraulic robot arm. It has hydraulic power, suction apertures, a six axis, no battery, and it's all done by DIY. How much more geeky can you get? I can play a few tricks with this, I think. So, let's start by having a look what's on the box. Car on the front, we have a picture of what it should look like finished, and a few functions of what it has on the side. It's just a quick picture uh, on the top. Pictures, more pictures on the back. It shows you the different features. It's got the gripper, the wrist, uh, the hydraulic cylinder for arm, the arm, the stand, the control base. And it shows it's got a braking system with a spring and a brake pad. Not sure how that works, but that's the point of one of these kits is to find out that sort of thing. And it's got a working area of 12.42. I think that's inches by 16.35 inches and then it's got various other diagrams and it even shows you all the parts included which is a fair amount so this may take us a short while to uh, build so let's have a quick look at what's inside I shall have to protect my key tea that is the most important thing and opening the bags we have the hydraulic robot arm instruction manual we have that thing which is the hydraulic pipes itself more stuff and more stuff and here oh it's like a little talk into something we shall find out when we look at the instruction manual now i'm not daft i know that most of you here are not here to look at the instruction manual although there might be a few people who want to see what this is like to see if it's difficult for them to do but so i'll just have a very quick flip through and you can see it's an instruction manual it's in english and it's quite long so what we're gonna have to do is try and build this with some time lapse so let's not waste any more time let's get this thing put together.
Right, and that is it, finally done. Now you may have seen me testing the controls during the construction, uh, but uh, <coughs> I just switched the camera off there because I was having real trouble with this one. Feels like I was gonna break it, ruin it. And it turns out I put the lever in the wrong way around, so now that's fixed. So as you can, may or may not work out during the build, uh, if you are buying this for a young one, they are gonna need assistance because there is a lot of fiddly parts the instructions sometimes you have to uh, think about them a few times because uh, it's not always obvious and some of the parts are really fiddly and i've uh, cut my fingers and i was sore thumbs from trying to get that cylinder together so it is definitely <coughs> challenging uh, in parts so young guns will need uh, assistance with this unless they're really good now uh, it does have two modes this is suction mode and it has the grippers as well so let's look at the basic controls which you probably see me playing with during the time lapse so we're on from the left we have probably don't see that but that's the sucker coming in and out that will also work for the grippers in a bit uh, I did have a problem with one of the hoses coming off and the water squirting out so all I did is put that hose back into the water suck some fresh in and off we go again so that works again so second one rotates the gripper there you go i find that uh, if you do it gently it, it doesn't stop in the right position so you have to whack that one uh, third one along does the neck up and down fourth is the arm up and down upper part of the arm up and down this piston here and fifth put that in the upper position with that up and fifth is the lower piston we need up and down. We've also got this control at the back here which spins the arm down. Now this has taken two days to build. Uh, there's a lot to it and yeah it's very fiddly. So let's uh, try this. I know what the result of this is going to be because I've already tried it but let's uh, that one bring it down. Oh yeah this is one issue with this. This piece keeps falling off, so that's no good. So let's put that back. Let's uh, see if we can see if we can't get it in the right position. Let's give me a bit of assistance there. Bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> and now we'll try and suck this card up. Can we raise it? No. Right, so whack it, <laughs> suck, and no, does it work? No, it doesn't. So not much fun. We can have that. We can't lift much weight with that anyway, because it doesn't have much suction. I think the main thing with this is the grippers. So I'm gonna uh, see if I can put these on. I haven't tried these before, so. Let's just see what happens. Uh, okay, just for reference, uh, when you put these on, pull this lever all the way back and you put the, cl the clip the grippers on with them in the open position. Bit of a fast, but there we go. So let's uh, quickly spin around. I don't know if to pick this up, but worth a try. Now I need something wider. Let's find something wider. So it's going to be light at the same time, which is the issue. So uh, let's try. Yeah. Right, that should get in there. Should hold that. Oh, maybe. Ah. Yes. I can use it to lift miniature SNES clone consoles slightly off the ground. Yay. Look at that. <laughs> the weight is slowly pulling this down. So. There we go, we can wave it around. Bring it up. Oh, that piston's being pushed back down. There we go, we can wave it up and we can spin it around. Let's see if there's anything else you can uh, find to lift up and move elsewhere. Put it down there. Doesn't take long to get used to it. Boink. And then 
Right, here's a uh, transistor something from World War II. Let's uh, see if we can get rid of this. Close and lift. And as you can see, you can be uh, quite precise with this thing. There we go, lift it all the way up, wave it around, spin it around. And there you go. So you do get a wonderful uh, example of no, oh, you can turn it around as well. Yeah, that's the turning mechanism isn't the best on mine. Might be lack of fluid, I don't know. But there we go. But everything else works fine. Oh, don't want to ungrip it. Let's put it back down. Oh, well, that one does now. There we go. We can unlock it and bring the arm back up. Excellent. So that's the hydraulic robot arm from a science discovery. Yes, uh, as stated before, if this is going to be bought for a uh, young one or a child, it's definitely going to need uh, assistance from an adult to do. Uh, there is a younger person in our family who had one for Christmas and they definitely required adult assistance because there is some fiddly bits, some bits that can be difficult to understand the instructions as previously discussed. But apart from that, it is a good educational tool. And at the end, you get a nice little toy to play with. So there we go. Not bad at all, especially for the price. So yes, quite enjoyed that. So thank you all very much. If you've enjoyed this, then please like, subscribe, and you can join us on Facebook. So thank you all very much for watching.